Hey everybody, it's Matt with Gun Gears and this is going to be episode 196. And I'm going to be in Hebrews today, chapter 10, and I'm going to read verses 16 through 18, okay? It says, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. <clears throat> I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds while I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. So the author of Hebrews, in this part right here, he's actually quoting from Jeremiah, the Old Testament, in chapter 31. And through this new covenant of Christ, you know, God puts his laws on our hearts. Okay, and that means God's standard is within us. All right? And this is why we experience conviction whenever we sin. We do something wrong. We should know that. We should feel that. God also is giving us the Holy Spirit to enable us to obey Him. So that law is on our hearts. And whenever we grow in our Christian faith, we become more aware of that fact. But we always will fall short of God's standard. And through the Holy Spirit, you know, we have the increased desire to obey God. So the heart of the new covenant, um, we have the wonderful promise that God again will forget our sins and the sin debt is paid. <clears throat> and uh, there, ha there doesn't have to be any further offering for sins. Jesus already did that. He took care of that. And so we're then able to walk free uh, with the Lord uh, to please the Lord. You know, serving Him, follow Him. And we want to find out, you know, God's purpose for our lives, and which is His purpose, and which is a different thing. It's the same purpose, but all of us have that different calling. So... Being led by the Spirit, um, just keep focused. And like I said, um, there are, Jesus is the sacrifice. There is no other sacrifice that need to be made. And uh, the Holy Spirit is with us, convicts us of those things, and we want to walk closer with the Lord. So I'll have an easy message tonight, but I'm going to have a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for uh, the stay in your blessings, Lord. And, and your, your word, Lord, is holy. It's true. And we're so thankful that you've given us the Holy Spirit, Lord. We're thankful for conviction. Lord, we want to, um, you know, not sin. We don't want to have a, it doesn't give us a pass to sin, but we don't want to be sinning. But Lord, we need the conviction to know that we do sin. And so we're thankful for that. We're thankful for Jesus and the sacrifice he made. Uh, a one-time sacrifice, Lord, and that's all that it took was that. And we're, we're grateful for that. Thank you for all your blessings and everything that you do for us, Lord. We're grateful. And just be with us the rest of the night. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So as you can see, I'm here standing on my foot. Uh, I do have a walker. I do. I'm, I'm using a walker, but the doctor said I can stand on it. Uh, be careful. He says, and just a little pressure at a time, a little bit. So I have another appointment in a month. And uh, but everything's working good for me. Stacy's still maintaining, and uh, which is good. I'm not getting any worse. I'm not getting any better. I don't think. But she'll get tested again here in a couple weeks. But I want to thank everybody for the prayers. I want to thank um, everybody for subscribing, everybody for watching. Um, I really appreciate that. I appreciate the prayers. Uh, just keep sharing Jesus with people, and we'll see you next week.